Most of the attention in Washington yesterday was on the Senate Intelligence Committee hearing regarding former FBI Director James Comey. But while that was going on, the House of Representatives voted to repeal and replace Dodd-Frank with the Financial Choice Act. And Representative Robert Pittenger joins me right now. You were one of the co-sponsors of this. Um, why do you think Dodd-Frank needs to be replaced? Well, uh, clearly we have a major problem uh, with access to capital and credit in our economy. And, you know, uh, Rob, 70% of the jobs in uh, this country come from small business. Yeah. And they can't get access to capital. We've lost 50% of our banks in North Carolina since 2010. We've lost three banks just in the last six weeks. In North Carolina. In North Carolina, they've yeah. been consolidated. So this bill removes some of the really egregious uh, requirements, yeah. uh, compliance, regulations on small banks. Uh, the director of the Center for Global Economy and Business at NYU Stern School of Business uh, agrees that Dodd-Frank is quote-unquote overly complex and burdensome, but she believes that this is going in the too far in the opposite direction, and she thinks it will make the U.S. financial system less safe. I, I, I'm assuming you disagree with that. Well, to the contrary. Uh, we have more uh, punitive uh, damages placed on Wall Street yeah. uh, in this bill than ever before for any type of violation or fraud. So it is very tough on Wall Street, but it opens up Main Street. It allows small banks uh, and credit unions to really be functional again. Okay. Uh, I want to talk to you about the Comey uh, hearing. You released a statement saying Mr. Comey is complicit in not coming forward or resigning if President Trump actually tried to obstruct the investigation. Comey also admitted that he had leaked privileged communication with the president, which may be classified. The real focus should be on who is leaking classified information. All of this is speculative noise. We wait for Mr. Mueller's investigation uh, for the facts. Mr. Mueller, obviously the special counsel that was appointed. Um, listen, the president more or less admitted to Lester Holt in May in an interview that um, he fired James Comey because of the probe into Russia. Don't you think that needs to be investigated? Well, I think he, what he stated clearly was that there were concerns of process and what, how Mr. Comey was handling things. And th but this has been a long history of problems. Uh, the Democrats had problems with it, uh, with how he had, he had handled uh, managing his uh, communications. He had been very public uh, with Hillary Clinton. He had not been straightforward in discussions with other people. So I think there's been a pattern here, bipartisan. Democrats all of a sudden are uh, supporting him, but they were ready to fire him a couple months ago. So it's, uh, let's get clear on the issues. I think the real thing is uh, yeah. we need to get to the facts. And this is all speculative. It's all conjecture. It's all anonymous sources. Uh, let's get to what Mr. Mueller is going to do as a special counsel. That's really the bottom line in all of this. Yeah. The rest of it is just grandstanding, a lot of Washington uh, well, let me, we're going to run out of time here, but I just want to ask you quickly, uh, where there's smoke, do you believe there's fire? I haven't seen no evidence of obstruction of justice, nor has anyone, uh, Dan Coates, never, didn't see that, neither did Admiral Rogers, who are major security players. They said that in no way were they ever challenged with anything that would be considered obstruction of justice. Okay, okay. Uh, Representative, it's always great seeing you. Well, thank, thank you so much for joining sure, us. We appreciate it. Sure, good to see it. you. That's our new conversation for today. Right now it's time to check in with the Weather on the Ones Forecast Center.